Hey guys, it's Jason here. Thanks for checking out our video as we continue north from Miami and we arrive in Panama City Beach, which is about an 11 hour drive for us. We will ultimately be making it to Destin, Florida as we wrap up our summer vacation. So make sure you subscribe if you'd like to check out those future videos. In this video, we'll be showing you around Panama City Beach, the beautiful beaches and amazing sunsets. I hope you enjoy. So here we are, Panama City Beach RV Resort, right off of Thomas Drive. This is Thomas Drive right here. At the end of Thomas Drive is St. Andrews State Park. It's a very nice state park. We'll take a drive through there later. And the beach is a short distance away. As you can see, you just have to cross Thomas Drive, which isn't busy at all. And behind these buildings here is the beach. All right, here's our campsite, number 10. We spent the day at the beach this morning. And here we are. This is our Jayco 242 BHS. We're gonna be doing a video soon, a year after having it. The likes, the dislikes, things that we improved on it. But this is our site. It's a nice even pad, concrete, a small little hangout area with a picnic table. Water and sewers, convenient. 30 and 50 amp, convenient. Everything's very nice. There's everything you need. It's very clean. I saw them landscaping this morning, laying down mulch. It's a very nice campsite. I'll show you a couple of these other empty ones before people come in. As you can see, people are starting to come in now for the long weekend. It's 4th of July weekend, 2023. This is all gonna be full soon. The beach was more crowded than usual since it was 4th of July weekend, but we didn't have a problem with it. Everybody was nice and friendly and respected their space. I can only imagine what the beach must look like during spring break weekend as this is one of the most popular destinations in the country. The water was amazingly clear due to the beautiful white sand they have in this region. Sometimes you'll see the water looks a little murky or even there's a brown haze. That's just sargasm, the annual seaweed that comes up into the area. Although you don't see any seaweed, there's no big clumps of seaweed. So this area didn't get impacted very badly. It just left that little bit of haze. After a long day of swimming at the beach, it's time to fire up the Blackstone. We love using our Blackstone for quick meals while camping. Can we see it? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It looks like a catfish. Oh my God, this is like a catfish. Dinner? That's a baby short. 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 The colors of the water changes throughout the day depending on which way the currents are going, and that also brings the seaweed either in or out. Just look how beautiful this color is, and this man enjoying himself fishing on his canoe.
And of course we had to do some shopping, so we came over to Pier Park, which is about 5 miles away from where we stayed. This mall was amazing, it was all outdoors, they had all different kinds of shops, and great restaurants too. Tyndall Air Force Base is close by and you'll occasionally see and hear jets practicing in the area. What you got there? Um, it is a cookie dough drizzle with birthday cake, ice cream, cookie dough, oil, and the color is even more complicated. What'd you get, Savannah? A strawberry skateboard ice cream. It has strawberries, marshmallows, sprinkles. No, no strawberries. It's a strawberry ice cream. What's your sprinkles, marshmallows, and lemons. That was the lady from yesterday. So we just left Marble Slab Creamery. We needed to eat ice cream because it's so hot out here. It's like 90 degrees in July or well, June 30th, Panama City Beach. It's very good. We stopped here at Hoot, which is right across the street from Pier Park where we could rest from shopping and we had some drinks and appetizers and enjoyed the beautiful view. The sand in Panama City Beach is 99% silica quartz, which is washed down from the mountains by the Apalachicola River and people take full advantage of this beautiful sand. I have never been so afraid of sharks at the beach as I was while I was in Panama City Beach because the water is so warm and clear and all you see all over TikTok and Facebook and Instagram yeah, maybe a little sharks. Bit of juice. Look what this guy caught. Yeah, he's holding on to that, huh? Can I pet him? <laughs> yeah, once I get this hook off. He won't let go. No, he won't. That is true. <laughs> hey, sure. Don't touch it, don't touch it. <laughs> a... Don't touch it because you'll turn around and bite. Look at the shark, oh it's a black fish. Hair bottle. As this shark swam away, all I could think about is there's a mama shark out there. So in our last video, we played volleyball with horses in the background. Check out this background, tell me which one's better. Here you can see the cloudy murkiness from the seaweed residue, but this was just one day, thank goodness it wasn't every day. Look at this mansion they're building here. Can somebody explain to me why they still use wood? It doesn't get better than this. We're on Panama City Beach. We're sitting in the water and we're waiting for the sunset. Check this out. I 
As the sun sets here in Panama City Beach, our video is coming to an end. Please like and subscribe so you can see our upcoming videos of our trip to the Panhandle. Thanks for watching.